<sighs> Sun, sand, slushies. If you're like me, you'll be counting down the days till summer. But with about a hundred days to go, there isn't much I can do except wait it out. While I'm making the most of the colder months, though, firefighters around the country are busy preparing for the hotter ones. If you live in Sydney, you might have noticed a smoky haze covering the sky last week. That's because these firefighters were doing something called a burn-off. That's when grass, weeds, branches and leaves are burnt using a controlled fire in the cooler months to reduce the likelihood of bigger, uncontrolled fires during summer. You see, there are three elements you need to create fire. Heat, oxygen and fuel. This is called the fire triangle. For bushfires, all this vegetation lying around is ready-made fuel. So if it's burnt off now in the cooler months, it can't burn again during summer. But the idea of holding a burn off to protect against bushfires isn't a new one. It's actually something that Australia's indigenous people have done for thousands of years. It's called caring for country and it's a set of practices that Indigenous people use to protect and maintain the land. And a big part of that is fire stick farming. But it wasn't just to avoid bushfires. By clearing the long grass, it made it easier for Indigenous people to spot animal tracks while hunting. It also protected tree canopies from bushfires, which some considered to be sacred, and helped to spread seeds and grow new vegetation. But after European settlement, Indigenous people were often banned from lighting these fires. And in the years after, bigger and more intense bushfires were recorded by the settlers. That's why in some areas, Indigenous rangers are now working with fire services to keep these traditions alive. That's really important that uh we share that knowledge uh, with those who are going to be charged with the responsibility of caring for country further down the track. We're trying to use it, you know, to bring back the health, bring it back to life and using that as a tool. So it's not just to walk in, walk out, it's a, a long-term commitment. These guys say backburning is a really important practice so we can continue to protect the land and also protect us from danger this summer.